him. And Giannis is going to command a lot of attention. And then Portis got going a little bit. And Lillard, you know, you, you need two on him in a pick and roll. Uh, and then, uh, you know, Middleton getting hurt. Because when you have Middleton out there, there's a third guy that can create offense for them as well. So uh, we knew that, that the ch first challenge is protect the basket, load up, but then you got to cover the line because they're, they're a high volume, very efficient three point shooting team. And so and what concerns you about that is not only th their efficiency, but their ability to offensive rebound, back tip, and for those long rebounds, if you're, if you're not rebounding as a team, those long rebounds will hurt you. Jalen yeah, is averaging, I think, 37 against the Bucks this season to the five games. Just is, is it the Lillard matchup? What are, you, what are you seeing that's allowing him to, to score the way he is against this team? Well, I mean, the thing is, you know, he's he's scored big all season, and you know, the 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 thing the game tells you what to do. So, like, if our defense gets going and we can get it to the open floor, those easy baskets are huge for us, and then. Uh, you know, he's going to be loaded up on them. They're going to be blitzing them. They're going to be, you know, firing at him. And then more often than not, you know, he's, he's got a primary defender on him, usually a guy with size. But he's shifty. He knows how to create space. And our guys do a good job of trying to get him open and getting him a second look into the open floor, downhill into space. And that's where he's impossible to guard. What did you think of that, that play in the, the second half where Isaiah Dives on. No, it's unbelievable. Like those type of plays are, you know, they inspire, they unite. They, if that doesn't get you excited, you, you even you guys probably got excited. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got the lead down to six midway through the fourth. I got the ball about three or I think at least three times they got the stop, had the ball down to six with a chance to cut into it. You got the stop each time. Just what was working there for your defense? kind of down the stretch and how big was that? Well, I think it's being tied together and understanding, like, look, they're going to put pressure on you, and we have to be solid and disciplined, and we have to use good judgment, like how much do you help, how, how well do you read the ball, how much ball pressure are you applying, uh, and then if someone goes to help, are we filling in behind? And everyone's got to work together, but the most important thing at the end is to make sure we're challenging the shot and then finishing with the rebound. And so it requires you to do more than one thing uh, and then fly around. And like uh, we saw that with, you know, Isaiah, that was that was a, a, an incredible play. What, um, how important was it to win those non-Jalen minutes and how big was Boyan yeah. tonight? Uh, Boyan has been playing, he's, he's getting into a, a decent rhythm, you know, and he, he can score the ball. So that that's huge for us. And I thought, you know, Deuce gave us really good minutes too. So and we're getting contributions from a lot of people. I thought Dante hit timely shots. Uh, Josh was Josh, just, you know, doing his thing, flying around and helping the team. He makes tough plays and he gives you a physicality. Um, and, and you need that. It, would it be fair to call this game a morale booster, given, you know, lost four of the last five, staring down a team that's second in the standings? Now, you know, like, the thing is, is, that's hard sometimes is I think you, you sort of want to make sure you understand, like, where you are, you know, and, like, even the the games, you know, we've been zigzagging pretty good, you know, where Toronto.